do see it, and I know you do see it. Yeah, that's the fucking. It's so important. Right it's so easy because to go on true consciousness, you have to have the belief or the true enlightenment. Maybe true enlightenment is understanding both at the same time. That you create everything, but at the same time, every consciousness creates, creates everything. Yeah, that's that, that's the divine that's, dichotomy of life. That's the all is one. Everything is everything. Letting go of awesome, everything is nothing. Uh, everything is everything, and everything is nothing at the same time. It goes deep. It really does go deep. The ego is just and there's like studies on such details of this, man. The ego, you know, it's a big part of it, which is why for so long you thought that you controlled everything. Which you which do. I do. But then again, everything controls you. Yeah. When you let go of the ego, you start to see that as well. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, you can't do anything about it. And you have to you accept it. You can that. do anything. Yeah, that's true. At the same time. <laughs> Which is it's exciting. all very harmonious in the fact that it you just like you're not yeah you don't have place to do word, anything that's the thing the place you don't place to do it don't whatever we can't do it's not that we can't we just don't or we haven't yet I love that concept or we haven't yet I feel like you can't you can't do anything you can't make I mean you can but it's manipulation what's that like make things happen like I go you to work you can but you just don't. But why? That's the question. But I've been trying to do it's it. It's case sensitive. Every every like someone will be like, be like sneeze, and I'll say, and I'll say, you'll feel better. And it's it creates, it changes it. Then they feel better. And I feel like it's like messing with the fabric, which humans tend to do. We're supposed to. Are we? Or are we dropped into this fabric from somewhere else or something else? I think the fabric is uh, is uh, is us. Uh, so we are supposed fabric. to do that. Yeah. We are supposed to make each other feel better. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And, but we're afraid to because it's like, what what kind of power do you think you have, telling people that they feel better? We do have that. But power. we do. I think we can heal each other. I think that we can call, cure cancer. I think cancer is just stress. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, part, it's a it's a result of stress. It's a part, yeah, part, yeah, part, yeah, part, yeah, part all sickness. Yeah. Result of yeah, it's fear and negativity. Yeah. That's why monks in Dungeons and Dragons are like resistant to disease and poison. You guys gotta go. Yeah, we gotta get going. We gotta go. Uh -huh. Try to do it. Even when you're dead, does the moment still exist when you're dead? Completely. That's the thing, because there is no time. So, what's time and death? What's time and death? That's a crazy subject right there. When, when you talk about death, what is time and death? It's like we, I bet when we maybe when we die, we can finally let go of this nervous yeah. fear about time. How much time we have? It's not that we just can, we just do. Yeah. The consciousness yeah. We do it all. Like very choice. That's, that's, I think, when we die, we reach enlightenment because we have no more consciousness. Well, no, it's not. We do have that. The consciousness is... We have the soul and the soul goes Don't home. you think? That's what I mean. That's The consciousness is the soul. Don't the, I think the consciousness is what makes us think. The soul is what drives us to have the thoughts. Interesting. So you think, and you call it the mind... The what? ego? The yeah. ego is the consciousness? Mind. I think of the consciousness is... I think the consciousness is like the magical being that drives the machine. Yes, so do I. That, yes. that drives the machine? Yeah, like the consciousness of what we don't understand. Yes. What we're exploring. It's like the real... Oh, yeah, what yeah, we yeah, all have we in common. It, but the I think the soul desires to want... Desires more. <laughs> Maybe. A song. So I think the soul desires more and makes us, in essence, ask these questions, the big question of why. And our mind, it's a struggle because it's like our soul knows that space can go on forever, so to speak, that's just an example, but our mind can't comprehend it. Not at all. It's limited. Or it can. So I think that... Can it, though? No, can, maybe it no, can't. We can, we just don't. You think the mind can comprehend, comprehend it? I think our mind can do anything. Anything's possible, we just don't. We don't comprehend So the key is to get your mind to a place where it understands... The soul. The soul. By, 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 having a, by having a connection of the two, by not lying to yourself. Right, right. 
and then in line with your body, your physical body. And if that's fasting and getting away from food, or listening to music and feeling the vibrations physically through your body, it's the perfect balance and understanding of your mind, your body, and your spirit. Interlace those words with whatever you want. <laughs> so fasting is the yeah, uh, fasting is the key. We should fast. We should each fast, fast for like. I would fucking fast. For the rest days. of our physical lives. We should fast for a couple of days and see what happens. I would do that. I need. I want days when I don't have to work for like two days or three days. Fuck it. I don't want to work anymore. <sighs> I don't want to work anymore either. I don't want to do something I don't want to do. I want to be just like a. I want to be a philosopher. Or no, well, are we are philosophers. philosophers. We are all philosophers. I want to get. I want to get paid to be a philosopher, but then I don't know if it's what I want. If I want to, I want if to not live a life when money, it, where money is involved. It. Then that's why they're monks. I think that's not a religion, but it's but stem, I, it stemmed from people with the same desire. Because out there, YouTube, there's millions of people with the same desire as us. Every time we have a thought, someone else has thought it. Everybody. Because we've already know, we I mean we already know everything. As we're having a thought, everybody's thinking it. Thinking exactly. it. That's right. Exactly. Whoa. For real. At least now. So if we say we need to, we should be getting paid to be philosophers. Right. We just don't. We want to do what we want to do. We don't want to have to do what we don't want to do. Basically, everybody agrees with that. Yeah. It's just a matter of finding the correct path, most effective path to that. But not having yeah. to go serve. Because I don't want to have money. I don't want to. I don't want to live a life of money. But I don't want to run away from society. Well, I want to run away from society. I don't want to run away from. That's honestly, true. Honestly, I feel like we don't need society. Society, society is, is. But society is just everyone, the people. Society is. You think society is a construct? It's the construct. It's a construct based based on money. I reject. So it. the people are part, it. or the people make up society, but because society you know, is a society, construct. Society, you have to dress and look a certain way when you go out. You have to act a certain way when you. Do. You don't have there to are though. Rules, but there's you know, society. That's what I said I want to get away from society, but not away from people. Yeah. yeah, that's what this, the you internet can is. You can differentiate the two, yes. That's wow. what this, like, online, there's no society, it's just people. Constant. It's becoming a society. Is it? Because then you have these people that, what are they called, the haters that, that watch well. these videos and they just hate? Yeah, but that's And they have real. the clicks and they have the jokers and they have the music videos and the people that post up sexy videos and stuff. It's becoming a society. It's just that people make society based on their own fears. That's true. It's a representation of the human, the human condition, and that's it's everywhere. Right. The human condition it's the is a way. condition. It's the same fear. condition everywhere. Fear based. Yeah. But well, we're breaking through it here it's not because that, yeah. we understand something that a lot, not people don't, but people want to uh, scoff at and say that we're just maybe being too or this or, or maybe we're just this and that. They like get a job, hippie. Yeah, but they don't. They it's like they don't want to scoff at us. It's that's the their bodies, that's the human body's they reaction to, to something want, shocking. I think they want to be able it's to like, do stop what, what we're doing. I think so too. I think anybody in their right mind, anyone, any human being, ultimately wants to explore themselves. Yeah. Number one so over why do they everything. Tell us, stop, hippie, get a job. Because it's terrifying to accept that for people, because it's a it's a big fear to overcome. I think you have fears to overcome. No, I don't want to smoke it on video. I don't want to put it online, smoking weed. This I, is I amazing. I get nervous about it. This is amazing. Just because people will... Yeah. Are you open it up? Yeah. I, smoke, I talk about smoking weed, but I haven't done it like on video. Because it's... I don't... Be, you know why, honestly? Because I don't want to break the law. They say, YouTube says, we will ban your account if you break the law on video. I talk about it, but I don't do it on camera. I just do it and then talk. What do you think about that? I think, only talk about I think that's great because as long as you laws, talk about it, you do it, then you're doing something fun. If there's rules. Yeah. yeah, the rules. It's like, you, I don't want to break the rules. Them. I'm not interested in like... You're not out there to be well, anti-establishment. Right. You're out there to Help work the with the system. Help not the against the system. Anti, anti Which is why money, why you can't but run for is, money. I wouldn't would say anti-establishment, but I mean, it's like there's this codependency I don't feel like I have to be dependent or codependent upon anything except myself. And people say, oh, well, go live, go live in a different country then. And I say, well, have... I, and I say, well, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. Do people say that? Yeah. 
Maybe yeah. I should. Maybe I should. I just spoke to something. Eric when he was going crazy, but who cares? I say crazy, but when he was having his experience. <sighs> yeah, his it's powerful. Very, very intense experience. Um, he told me all these things he wanted and all these things he didn't want. And it pretty much ended up in, well, Eric, shave your head, go be a monk. That way you don't have to deal with your hair falling out. Go be a monk, you don't have to deal with people, because people make you bitter. You don't have to deal with hate and money, because you're losing, you think you're losing your money. You just get away. Interesting. What he said. In conversation, he said, that sounds great. I'd love to do it. I said, what's holding you back? He said, myself. He kind of did it. Although he hasn't really, no, he, he just to his mom. he just ran. He did run. Well, no, I you know I don't want to make any stipulations on people. Like, no, I, the fact's the fact. I mean, I hold nothing against a lot of fear inside of him. And we all have. I hope someday yeah. he'll find. Although I don't know. You think everybody will find him. I think he's just he's very open. And reflects our own fear back at us. So, so See, we I think that people that have a lot of fear are just reflecting our own fear back on us. Yeah, and I think everybody. they're really intelligent. Now, if, now if that's the truth. And if the truth is that down the creative moment, just like you did, then we're doing the same thing to them. Then we're just bouncing right. just this whole bunch of And fear. we're calming them. And they're making us afraid. Although... What if we don't feel fear? Then it doesn't... Then there will be no fear in the situation. We won't notice it. Well, yeah, we won't notice it. I think if we have no fear, there will be no fear around us. And I think that's what enlightenment is. There you go. And if you become enlightened, everyone around you will feel it. I love this. I love this. Uh, Why do we even have to label? We always try to label enlightenment. I mean, and why do you have this, to label enlightenment? I had this um, thought come to me one day where enlightenment just is. And it's, it seems like kind of obvious and kind of hokey to say that, but. It's not. It just is. I mean, it, it just is. It, it, we could say light, enlightenment is this, enlightenment is that. It's just. It's, it's a state of elevation. It's nothing and everything. It's unexplainable, but very attainable and explainable. It's just simply enlightenment. That's all it is. It's because like it's how phone. you explain it. The phone isn't a description. The phone is the phone. Because how you, how you explain enlightenment is just by being enlightened just and, being and enlightened. talking about anything, really. Yeah. Talking about it, talking about... Talking about everything, you know? Being open and being enlightened. Yeah. Holding nothing back. And here we are still trying to describe it. So that's like the stream of consciousness when you're in it and speaking and you don't remember what you're saying. Is that a moment of enlightenment? Enlightenment. Let's see the thing. Light. Enlightenment to illuminate. To shed the light on when there's, where, where there's dark. So even enlightenment is just a, a poor word to describe yeah, what's happening. Yeah, I think so. They're all, they're all words. They try to base, they try to um, portray a feeling. Or a state of being, and like the word Instead you of can't just using the word. We just you can't put it in a book. That's what's so crazy. You can't do it in a book. You can't explain you can't it in do a book. Anything, we just don't. You can't. I don't think you can explain enlightenment with a book. You have to sh do it. You we, have to experience we can. it. We, see, we can do anything. But we, we can. But the don't. text can't. We can't. Well, we can. Then that means we haven't developed the right text. We just we have. We we have now. This is it. This is the right just medium. Book. This is the right medium. Sure. But books can't, you can't describe them like that. You can't teach someone who's going through a book. Books are an extension of our own minds. No, they're just a thing, something in the physical reality. We, just like everything we, else. We type, we made this, this with our own minds. We made the camera, YouTube, you know, the some, internet with our own minds. Someone was saying an that extension of ourselves. even video is just a bunch of numbers and, and words. Like a bunch of programs that someone wrote. I thought, hmm. That's like way off the deep end, I think. Irrational. Because Wait, video is, video is... It is just an we're we're talking, we're you're seeing, seeing us at a programming level. Yeah. It's, like, it's all it is. So like that's why he's like, don't knock text because it's so true because without text we, we wouldn't have, have this technology. Yeah. But but text I is the originator. And I don't knock it, but like I see now what we do have. You know, stop focusing on text. Text is uh, fucking amazing though, man. It's like someone's mind on. What I'm saying is. Text okay. is an extension of our brains, just like everything else is. Everything in existence, in our physical existence, is an extension of our brains. And anything that doesn't exist that says, oh, we can't do that, books can't do that, no, books can because we can. We just don't. Therefore, books don't. You think, I don't think, I don't think that the physical reality can be anything other than what it is. But I think, exactly. we, I think that we can. Exactly. We can do anything. I think that we can become something that we weren't. But this can't. 
Or, the, or, or can it? Of course it can. It's your perception of it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's totally so you think if, if my perception changes, that that bottle can break? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You think so? Just by believe, just by under, just by understanding that it's broken. If all of us understand and agree that it's broken, then it's broken. Like we truly have to understand that it's broken. Yeah. Understanding, like. Or if it, if it is. I agree good. because I but broke then, the but conscious but thought. Then we have to agree on a definition of broken. Is it shattered to pieces, or it is just not. That might be too. Them. That might be too physical. That that's how people can't do it. Is they get they get lost in. No, they specifics. can. We just don't. We just simply don't. But I think that's the that's the wrong train is to, is to try and break it a certain way. It's understanding that it's actually broken, broken. in half or broken. How it's it's it it's doesn't cracked. matter how it just is broken. And if you believe it, it is. I mean, it's crazy. See, it's words, crazy. man. Words they limit our they limit our conversations. They limit our our evolution. Being able, being human and speaking in the human tongue limits us so much. Yeah. It, because well, then we it have to decide. Us. Then we have to decide how. I mean, it does both. But it does limited, everything. But in a limiting, in limiting fashion, it's all and none. It's all everything. Like the People, if you rely on words of themselves, you something inside you fall short. Yeah, that's what I'm inside. saying. Is if we relied on words to decide how this is broken before it actually gets broken, we would never be able to do it. We no. wouldn't be able to agree. Right. Now, if we just decide and know all of us that it is broken, there it is. But we would have to understand it, understand that it's broken, like really understand that this is broken. Really, it makes have no have no unease about it, mm -hmm. have no fear about it. Just like how the keys are sitting on the desk. Yeah. No fear with that. It's just an observation. We're observing it as broken. Because it it is. It's weird to say that. I faltered when I started to say it. I want to I, I want to try that stuff. Then try it. Do it. Can can something just break? Can it? Is that possible for something just to be here? And just Anything is possible. It just doesn't happen most of the time. You can always. Run I think. I think in every. I haven't. I haven't come to a situation where I don't use the word can't over the word don't. You haven't come to a situation where you. Where the word can't is more effective than the word don't. Because we can do anything. That's true. It's just that we just don't. We choose not to because we're afraid. Right. We choose not to. So even in this. Or are we It's not that it can't be broken, it's just that it's just not, not broken. Wait, what did you say? You said we choose not to because we're afraid. Yeah. Or are we afraid because we choose not to? Oh, wow. The fear is irrational. It's just a fear of the unknown. As soon as we do it, the fear is gone. It never was. Yeah. We realize it. Yeah. Awareness. We're, we're ignorant. We're ignorant to it. That's it. We're ignorant of how to do it. We, we break this with, I don't know, heat transfer. We, we affect it on a sub, sub, subatomic level, and the molecules shift and change, and it just shatters. Among other ways, you can freeze it. And it gets so cold. And but I, you could freeze it with your mind, right? Yeah. You could you could change your body temperature. Who was saying? Were you saying that the monks had like cold? Oh water? yeah, yeah. By um, you know, uh, like four monks uh, were in this room and they were doing this like um, this prayer, um, like for all together for like um, I forget the amount of time, but it was a substantial amount of time. And they took the energy level for the the the, uh, the degree of the, the room temperature. And the humidity, I think it was, and they they took it before and after, and, and the degree that it changed was very slight, but it was like a point of a degree or something that changed, and they attained it totally to the course. And they did it like a bunch of times. So like every single time, it was the that's same. That's different. It was the same. That's amazing. So what, what I, I was, someone was telling me, I thought it was that, but maybe not, is that this monk, these monks were like deep in meditation and they raised their body temperature and they had like wet towels on their shoulders mm -hmm. and the towels started steaming, steaming. Yeah. because they were just raising their own body temperature. Dude. I wonder what the purpose of doing that is unless it's just to say we can do it. If we know we can't do anything so why do we have to put it to the test? Maybe it's part of it. It's a fear that we can't do it. It's not that we can't, we just don't. So if we know that we can't do anything, we don't have to waste our time and actually do it. But maybe it's a fear of the body have to do. the body dying. 
you think the body can only take so much? Temperature wise? Yeah. Just yeah. Pressure wise from the consciousness. Maybe. Is that why people fucking die when they're deep thinkers? Is that what happens? Is deep thinkers always seem to die? Get shot? I think so. Get fucking hung? Get killed by the government? Yeah. It's fear. Yeah, it's other people's it's their, fear. It's their own fear. Yeah, it's because they manifest it. Mm -hmm. And they're because maybe because they're afraid of living. They don't want to stay alive, otherwise they would be. Wow. Well, how would they bring death upon themselves if they wanted to live? Yeah, and I want to, and I want to keep affecting people until... It doesn't matter if you say it or not, it's what you really believe and what you manifest your life. But it does. What we say is what's real. I think, think, so? I think that ultimately I'm, I'm looking forward to death. But I'm not at any rush. I really enjoy this reality. Maybe you stop enjoying this reality is what happens when you... But then like Buddhas and stuff, they, they stay alive. They don't fucking sell. Because they pull themselves out of people. Interesting. Because they, what? Because, because, they they, because what? Because they wish life upon themselves. They celebrate life. Rather than worrying about death and being in society and making a big impact on society and worrying about the repercussions of it, they take themselves out of... So the stress is gone? Yeah. So it's stress, you think, that ultimately kills people? I think... I think it's the desire, not the desire, but the, ma the manifestation of death that kills people. Really? Yeah. The, see, yeah, I guess if you want to simply call it desire, the simple... I think you manifest eternal desire to want to die. I think you manifest death in your entire life and manifest your death. Or is it just that we're not confronting reality, we're not confronting life, so we die? Like people that are depressed and afraid are the ones that just die. Is that natural selection? I think I don't know. I think that has a lot to do with just like how you manifest it. If mean, you want to die, die, and you're going to die. Yeah. But does anyone? Want, yeah, I guess everybody wants to die eventually. Everybody when they get tired of living, they just know they're going to die. And like I think your entire life, how you feel about death, you know that manifests what death is. Really? If we were taught, if we were never taught about death, would we die? Or would we die in our 80s and 90s like so many people do? Probably. We're never taught about death, never had a notion of death. Never understood it, never heard of it. Never really came just knew that all we had was life. How long would we live? Because you do, all you do have is life. Think about that. Well. Wait, wait. Then Jesus Christ even said it. All you have is eternal life because maybe that's still right that this consciousness, even when you do this body, yeah, but what's life? What's life? The consciousness, so therefore, life is conscious, so you have eternal consciousness. And, and death is, just, uh, is, is, is the same, it's, it's different. But nothing to be afraid of. And that's what he's talking about. There's nothing to be afraid of. Because you have this eternal consciousness, not even death. You know, it's going to be guaranteed. But it's just going to shift your consciousness, not alter it, not, not destroy it. We're even thinking of death is so final. It's funny. It's yeah, not it's not at all. It's the beginning. Or no, but why does it happen at certain ages? It's part of it. I guess that's the question. Why does it happen at certain ages rather, rather than, you know, other ages or to certain people and not like, other like, people? You're the same fight. accident? Why do two people, one person dies, one person lives? Because that one person manifests death. Right. It's like death. Like, ah, oh, I'm going to die. Yeah, oh, yeah. God, I'm, I'm dead. dead. I'm dead. I'm going to stop dead. this now. Interesting. Yeah, like, oh my god, I'm gonna 